Hello, and welcome to a new show and tell from me. I'm Peter, and um, today we'll be looking at the Grand Seiko GMT Spring Drive SPG E001. Um, right, let's have some stats on it first. The caliber is the uh, 9R66 Spring Drive. The case is stainless steel. The glass is high definition dual curved sapphire crystal that has been anti-reflective uh, coated on the inner surface. Uh, the clasp is a three-fold clasp with a push button release. So here we go, there we are. Loom bright on hands and uh, index. Um, it's water resistant to 20 bars, 200 meters. Uh, it has the weight of 177 grams. The case size is a diameter of 44 millimeters and thickness is 14.7 millimeters. It has a rotating bezel, 24 hour display. That's because it's a GMT. Screw down crown, uh, screwed case back, uh, 30 jewels. Um, it has a dual time function with 24 hour display, which we'll get back to later. Power reserve display function, which is which is a uh, little indicator right there. Looks a bit like a um, gas gas indicator on a, on a car. Um, yeah, it has a power reserve over 22 hours. Okay, those were the stats. Um, so let's have a look at it. So this is this is Grand Seiko's uh, GMT. Now, for for those of you who don't know. GMT stands for Greenwich Mean Time, and um, what it really, in, in in simple terms, is it's it just means that the watch has an extra extra hand, it's the little red one there, that will show you the time of wherever you wanted to show. Let's say you are a pilot based out of New York, and um, and you'd always like to be able to see what time it is in your home time zone. You will you will put that at your home time zone so you can you can then um you can then uh put this this the others um i forget the the word when you when you do like this but um the thing is if you're flying to dubai and you're going to stay there for a while then then you you would uh, you would want your watch to tell you local time but and it can but but then you know the hour and the minute hand will show you dubai time but the little red one will show you New York time. So, um, you know, if you log on to Facebook and your wife is online and then you look at your watch and say, hey, it's three o'clock at night uh, back home. Why is my wife on Facebook? Um, <laughs> so that's pretty much what you use it for. The whole uh, GMT function was was uh, actually, as far as I know, I might be wrong, but was started by uh, by Rolex back in the 60s and was built specifically for Pan Am pilots. Uh, Pan, Am, Pan Am pilots were back in the, you know, the rock stars of the air, and, um, and Rolex uh, made this, this system for them, um, so they always could see the time of their hometown. Um, people always also say that the, uh, on, the, on the Rolex GMTs and on many others, they have a red and I think it's blue, on the other side, and uh, and they, those colours were apparently a, a, a gesture from Rolex to Pan Am, as the red and blue colours were Pan Am's colours. Um, okay, right back to this Seiko Grand Seiko. Um, so it's a GMT, and uh, and I find that very cool. Um, you know, it's it's uh, as I've said before in, in other reviews about uh, GMT watches. You know. Um, one could say, and with 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 justification that, you know, back in the eighties, you know, only pilots needed GMTs, but nowadays, when people are travelling all over the world from one day to the other, you know, flights are getting cheaper, they are getting faster. Uh, you can be in Dubai one day and you can be in Denmark the other, um, and then you can be back in Dubai three days later. Um, businessmen would would you know could use these watches recreational divers, 
um, all kinds of people uh, would, would benefit from having a GMT watch. Um, and it just makes it a lot easier, you know, to see what time it is back home and so on. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's, that's pretty much what they, what, what they use them for. And I very much like it. I don't yet own a GMT myself, but I, you know, I can feel that I'm going to have to buy one because they are just cool. Um, so, uh, so that's the GMT function there. Over here you have a little power indicator, and as, it, as you see at the moment, you see it's very, very low. It's all almost, you know, totally um, down on power. Now, I would like to show you, if I can do this with gloves, how quickly I can power it up. So I'm turning it now. Oh, it's really, really difficult with, with, um, with gloves on. I think I might have to, like that. Now watch this. I got it now. Watch how it starts to go up in power already. The reason it's going so fast is because of the ingenious spring drive movement it has. It has a function, or it's not really a function, but it just it's just a fast winding system. Now it's over and I just do some quick fiddles here and it's getting close to being fully charged the watch now. And we're getting there, we're getting there. Faster, she said. Right. And there we are. The watch is now pretty much fully charged. That's impressive. Anyway, right, so um, for those of you who have not seen my other uh, Grand Seiko uh, reviews about the spring drive, um, I can give you a quick lay down on what a spring drive is without getting too technical. A spring drive is a... Is a is a drive that, that takes the best from both worlds. Now, it is an automatic movement. Now, let, let there be no doubt about that. It is an automatic movement, but it also has a little finesse uh, that where it, 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 uh, it, it the, the rotating rotor in the back uh, powers a little, a little um, quartz oscillator. And this quartz oscillator, when it starts to, to move because of the rotation of the, uh, of the, um, of the rotor, which generates a little electrical charge, and that powers the oscillator. The oscillator then starts emitting an electric pulse, and um, and that pulse is 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 like the um, the uh, the thing that that it takes its time from because it's extremely um, precise in its uh, in its frequency, and. Um, you know, and that's that's what um, what controls the spring. So, so inside the watch, there is actually a sort of a, a mechanism that le that lets the spring go, exactly in sync with the quartz oscillator, and it also has an electromagnetic brake to make sure that the spring doesn't unwind faster than the oscillator. So it's it, and that just gives an insane accuracy. I mean, this watch um, is. Uh, it's accurate to uh, one second per day, and if you're not impressed by that, you don't. You didn't quite hear what I said. This is not a quartz movement. This is an automatic movement, but with spring drive. So it is an automatic movement that is accurate to one second per day. That is impressive, no matter how you look at it. And uh, and that's that's uh, that's the spring drive. Uh, um, Seiko and Grand Seiko were the first to come out with this. They were the first to come out with uh, with the quartz movement. They were the first to bring out the uh, the quartz. Uh, um, oh dear, I forgot the name for it now. Um, that always happens when you when you're taping a video. Uh, chronograph movement. That's the one. Yes, and uh, they came out with the kinetic movement, and now they've also uh, brought, brought um, you know came up with the, the spring drive movement. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful movement. Now you'll notice that that if you look at the at the second hand, you'll see that it's gliding effortlessly around, and that is just so cool. And also, not only uh, gliding, but it is also uh, silent. It doesn't give any sound of any kind. It's just enormous, enormously cool. Um, so. Let's have a look at it. Um, you know the case again. This is this is Grand Seiko. It is you know it is immaculate. Everything is is just so 
so well done. Um, again, I like that that um, although this is a, a very high end watch, they do have uh, the lugs lugs are drilled through, so as it is easy to remove the, and uh, the band and and put, put something else on. It sort of says, you know, it's it's it says this may be a very expensive watch, but it is also a tool watch made for professionals. And this is a good way of, of making it easy and fast to change um, the band or to take it off without scratching the watch and so on. And um, and I like that. I, I really do. I have one confession. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been able to find out what exactly the uh, the bezel is made of. Now, it is extremely beautiful. It's It doesn't really show up on... Uh, on uh, on film, but it is is like, if you imagine, it's it's like it's sunk under a thick layer of glass, um, and uh, and it gives a really sort of three dimensional uh, look to it, which is very pleasing uh, to me. And I don't know if this is if this is just sort of sapphire crystal glass that's on top of it, or some kind of crystal or see-through ceramics I'm, I'm not sure i really i couldn't find anything anywhere and i'm not going to scratch on this to find out <laughs> because i know a guy called peter like me who'd probably kill me if i did that so um so i won't be doing that but i you know and i can't tell you what it's made of but i can tell you that it that the effect is stunning it's really beautiful it, it doesn't really show up here but um but it is very very, very cool um and um yeah have a look at the back again. You have Clan Seiko's Royal Lion roaring and uh, and so on. That's very cool. Um, everything is just uh, very well made, and um, and an extremely you know well done. That's all I can say. Really, it's it's this is this is the best the Japanese have to offer. And when you think about it, you know that in itself just speaks volumes. Um, yeah, I would like to. I keep on forgetting to put these uh, to make give wrist shots, and people keep on telling me off. So sorry, guys. And this time I will remember. Let's see if I can get these gloves out of the way. Whoops. Well, it's not sized because it's not mine, unfortunately. So there you have it. A wrist shot. Very beautiful indeed. This is a sexy watch, guys. I mean, honestly, it really is. I would love to own this watch. Um, Yeah. The thing about Grand Seiko is the more you the more you get to know about them, the more you read about Grand Seiko and the more you you touch them, the cooler they just are. The more you find out that, you know, that if if this watch had had any other name on it, it might have cost uh, you know, uh, the double or something like that. Uh, it's it's already an expensive watch, but you know, if it, if it had said another brand name more well known uh, for luxury watches you could uh, you could add <laughs> close to the double to the price um for this and it's uh, it's just exquisite it really is um anyway so we've been through the uh, the the GMT function uh we've talked about the spring drive we've had a look at it closely Let's see if i can get close yeah we can actually get closer without my telephone exploding it's um, it's a pleasure to have, really, and uh, I must say. Um, so, anyway, I think that that's about all I have to say this time about this watch. Uh, if any of you out there were thinking about getting it, I can only say you'll be getting a really, really awesome watch. Um, with those words, I'd like to say thanks very much for watching, and I hope that you will like and subscribe. And I hope that you enjoy listening to me ramble on about um, about watches. Um, if you do, catch me next time on my next review. Thanks very much. Peter out.